Nice. Okay. L l l let's read this one. So many awards, bro. <laughs> Poetry. <laughs> This game will die after I've absolutely, in my opinion, I do not want to start all three months from scratch. What? what? This, this mechanic does not belong in any case in a game in which you have to build a base through loot and get ahead at all. You don't... Dude, these people don't understand how this works at all, what the fuck? There are now... 35 are there? I didn't even know that's how many. Hmm, okay, I'm going to Steam. I'm sure. You know, I'm going to be massive at Fever. Yeah, that's how that. Dude, have you ever played Tarkov? Did, did you play Tarkov? Did, do you guys like. I know nobody's watching right now, but like. Maybe I will make a video out of this. I don't know. Like, the, uh, have you people played Tarkov at all? Like, that's. That's fucking funny, right? Ah. Uh. I don't get this. I don't like. I've seen people complain and bitch about this shit since fucking close beta. I don't know why. What I do not understanding about extraction shooters. The whole point of extraction shooters is to gain experience from the maps and from the weapons. That's probably why you don't have shooting range in in, in extraction shooters. If I'm being honest, but I don't think that's a good excuse to not have it. The point is like everything you gain is going to be always be lost eventually imagine if you have never lost something i don't know what this guy is like i'm fine with inventory vibe but even my faction level and general operate yeah you are not seeing the huge problem with what you are trying to say here like you can't have that in a game like this it's not that's not gonna work i don't know how to say it. like you want the game to be um let's say you kill a person uh, with much better gear than you if you don't have a uh, progression uh, d delete eventually you are have no motivation to actually gain experience because you gain experience by basically uh get getting all the best gear you can get then you know deploying with it trying to kill people dying repeating that process right and you will gain nothing from from like if you don't have the motivation to do that you will not uh, progress as a player because these games are not about uh, like accumulating resources the game is about temporarily accumulating resources uh, to to extend yourself as a player so the next vibe you are like you're smarter in a way right like you're a better player in a lot of aspects uh, which is also, by the way, the reason why, you know, the seasons and the vibes are so helpful for long-term players and so damaging to short-term players because the short-term players will just bitch like this. The long-term players, meanwhile, uh, by the third, fourth season, know how to get quickly things that are meta or like things that, you know, they want, uh, you know, the best gear in their opinion like i've rushed this season coralite because i like the weapons they're not necessarily the best weapons in the game or the meta game uh, weapons but i like to shoot them i like to train with them i would like to get better at them and i know how to fast progress every faction to get something like blue stems which are necessary for gameplay all these things right and if you are not gonna vibe a uh, faction level or generator updates all of this it's one of like the quests need to be repeated each season and i think they are even changing them a little bit so they are not always the exact same but they are close to same i don't get why people are all like why is it getting so many hours do not understand what fucking extraction shooter is about you probably don't like reading this i don't think people get what extraction shooter as a concept is but like i don't i don't get this i've seen this so many times that's why i'm addressing it just it's it's nuts Ban in indiscriminately. Let's see what this is about. After, a, uh, as a player, after a, 600 hours of playing, my account has been banned. What does it mean to send me an email saying that the cheater account is? What? Wait, what? My account has been banned. What does it mean to send me an email saying that the cheater account is banned? Banned the account in. What's the What? 
fuck? <laughs> what? This dude is 100% a cheater, right? What the fuck? Dude, the fucking balls to the wall on that kid. 600. Yo, you have. See, see, let's see if he actually has. Can I see that somewhere? I hope I don't get fucking, like, flushed with fucking porn here. View profile. Fuck it, whatever. Oh my god. Yeah, that's definitely you. Let's see. 666. You can have OBS Studio on Steam? I didn't know that. Hmm. Would that be helpful? Probably not. <laughs> Dude, this guy probably put that in Google Translate too. Send me an email saying cheater account is banned. Banned account in this game and like... Yeah, dude, that's tough. That's tough. You are a cheater. Yeah. So I, I didn't get it from the fucking sentences at all that, like... After 600 hours, my account has been... That's the only sentence I actually understood. What does it mean to send me an email saying that the cheater account is banned? <laughs> what? Man, I don't understand this email. <laughs> What do you mean? They found out? Just want to point out how useless your anti-cheat anti with a Y. That's, that's so cute. I was often... I was often being killed by some weird headshots. So I looked for... <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I've been playing for about a month, of course. Without getting banned by... What? I have bugs. Uh, so what this guy said, I that's what I'm thinking about this. This is so many people thinking, like talking about that. I have never known this. I'm so glad I went. I, I did this today. I never knew how like gamer community is brainwashed because this is like a. I've seen this so many times. Like not on on Steam, like Reddit and shit. People say this shit so often, like, oh, you know, I, I did made another account and then and, 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 and I downloaded the cheats because I wanted to kill the cheaters that you're bullshitting yourself more than anything. <laughs> I don't I don't know why like Yeah. You can't really ban people based on posts like this though. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it like realistically, but I would like to be able at the same time. I don't know how to say it, like yeah, this is like, this is kinda cringe, I'm not gonna lie. We need to be able to evac everywhere, let's see. This is gonna be fucking, this is gonna be good. <laughs> this one is gonna be good. I'm sick and fucking tired of getting camped at the evac point. I don't know why loot extract games are like this, other than force of habit, since Tarkov and Division 2 both learned and in, leaned in this, in this kind of shit. It would be one thing if the... Time to kill was longer. There was a decent chance of uh, reacting to the ambush. But because of how quickly... Dude, you are fucking citing Tarkov. And you're complaining about people camping. What the fuck? <laughs> what am I reading right now? Just because of how quickly SMGs in private kill. Uh, if there is someone waiting to ambush you, they've already won. And because every evac point on this planet... Um, He does do this and I'm already sick of it. I was prepared to meet enemy players. Open. Yeah, sure, that's. <laughs> but if you play Tarkov and Division, you should learn to understand the backs in these kind of games. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, almost, that's almost what I've said. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 you can say it's a skill issue. I don't even. I don't even. Like, yeah, you can, you can say it's a skill issue. But I, I get where is he coming from. However, you can't be, like, just. Don't, yeah, evac from everywhere defeats the point of evac. When you are normally playing the game for quests or something like that, you have, uh, like, you know, you, you, you deploy on the map and you need to go to a specific, usually you need to go to a specific spot unless it's like a gathering, you know, resource, but you, you still have to go to a specific spot, it's just one of them, right? But if you have to get one specific item, right, like a quest item, you have to always go somewhere. So now if you can just evac from every spot that there is on the map, then like all the evac is just useless, like the, the whole idea is for you to have to go somewhere and then fight so you can get back safely. 
if you have problem with people camping you evac this is gonna make it 10 times worse it's not gonna get it better so if you could evac from anywhere everybody from you know that's coming out from jungle for example uh, would be using the two closest evacs either on comps tower or the jungle one right and so all you need to do is fucking camp these spots and you will always catch out somebody who is you know trying to get the best loot in the map and you can do this you can apply this to any map so the fact that there's like always specific evacs that you need to go to means that uh without you realizing it the game is protecting you from campers you will still probably get camped somewhere yeah sure i i have to say if you play enough of the game let me actually see his profile real quick maybe he's like new to the game Eh, God damn it, games. Let's go, friend. Where is fucking cycle? He has eight hours, man. I'm not laughing at it. I'm just saying, like, in eight hours, there is no way you can understand, like, what's the problem that you are, like, addressing here. Like, you ne just play, play ten times that amount of the game, and you will start realizing that this is stupid because. Uh, the evac system is the way evac system works in extraction shooters literally saves you from this much more often than you realize not to mention like the whole point of the evac situation is that people don't uh you, they don't have a motivation to actually camp you because if they know that you will always be able to evac on a specific evac somewhere that fucks everything up. All of a sudden, people will be camping you all the time. I'm telling you, the second you do something like this, uh, people will start camping you like 100 times more. Weapon balance is shit. It is. It is. I can fucking stand behind that one all day. No more to say, but if people with green can people with... <laughs> why? If I just go and play. The time to kill is pretty good and gives people an edge for campers if you get the drop on someone. I will give I will tell you why. I will tell you why. He's right. He's right. The balance is absolutely dog shit. You can't you can't write an essay. I'm sorry, there's nothing to say. No Tarkov all all you Tarkov players are the same. This is an FPS, not an RPG like you. How is this what? This guy doesn't understand what RPG means. It rewards FPS skill rather <clears> than <throat> farming time. Not true. Uh, gear does make a difference here, but obviously not as much as in Tarkov. There are uh, where any unskilled loser can run, uh, run around uh, with tier 6 armor and wipe an entire lobby. Incredibly not true. Incl incredibly not true. Oh, you're talking about Tarkov. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, that's, I guess that's true. I don't know what tier 6 armor is in Tarkov. I don't, I don't know what that means, so I'm not gonna fucking talk about it. It rewards a trash player. Are you talking about, are you talking about Psycho or Tarkov now? It rewards a trash players who have no business winning encounters, just on found gear alone. So when these players who stomp, so he's talking about, he's talking about Tarkov, I think, right? And he says incredibly unrealistic. The same fucking Jesus. <laughs> Kinda kill a yeah, He's talking about Tarkov, yeah. Uh, in this game, you can farm to your heart's content or not. If you are able to do it, great. You will have an advantage if you are, you are not. Yeah, no, I under. Uh, yeah, this this is this is true about cycle when you compare it to Tarkov. In Tarkov, if you don't get your hours in when it comes to just grinding and doing shit, you actually cannot fucking play the game. I I remember that about the game. That's true. So like, yeah, this game is a little bit better in that in that regard. I agree with that. I think cycle is much more. Uh, I say like less intensive for grinds. Yeah, that's true. If you are not, then you are still feeling uh, the balance. <laughs> but you, you are doing so well. <laughs> it's not balanced, though. It's really not balanced. And you don't even need to go pix pixel hunting for tiny heads to compensate for being an HP tanks. 
uh, trying to understand that. I'm not doing well understanding this. Purple is not epic, right? That's the one I'm wearing. Purple should not make you invincible. However, when I play, when I was today against that guy with the fucking phasic, I should have fucking deleted him from the game. I understand where this comment is coming from, but it's true that like the balancing of the damage is against like defense versus offense in cycle is completely out of whack. It's insane. That's kind of what I think like the problem is people are addressing it too. Like the balance is just not very well done. I really don't think they're gonna be changing it. <laughs> At the moment I read this, I already knew I'm gonna like this. If they're working as intended, then the intention is a little bit misguided. <laughs> Unless see tons of private profile people saying that they're rich, blah blah. Because they cheat as well. Play the interested lobbies and really learn the right guy who I knew it too much. What? I've never been 20 years online gaming scene. And well, you're fucking bullshitting. Again, profiles. Let's see if he has private profile too. So obvious. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, I can see his games. The profile pic says it all though. Cheater real talk, dude. 